It's okay, Mother. I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm ready to leave the world now at peace. Vanessa, I thought she was getting better. Vanessa. She was. She was, and then I... I, I don't what? understand what? it. What? Well, she just, she just sort of given up the will to live. I, and I don't know what to do to make her better. I, no, I, no, no, no. I'm not going to let this happen. Dinah. Dinah, you listen to me. You listen to me. It's hard. You listen to me. You open your eyes, okay? I'm not going to let you die, baby. Look at me. That's what I'm, I'm counting on, heart. The longer I keep you here by my side, the better my chances are to win you back. Dinah. Oh, good. No messages. I don't want us to be disturbed. <sighs> hmm. Relax, enjoy, love, blank. Love, blank. Oh, well, what the hell? I'm celebrating. Seems luck is still running my way. You were wrong, Ross. Blake has made her choice, and it is me. <clears throat> Where are the boys? Upstairs. Ben thought for certain you'd be at his place. Well, I was at the Springfield Inn with Hart. I'm glad you finally decided to do the right thing and bring them home. You scared the living hell out of me. Do you know that? I scared you? Yes. The boys are with you. You're in a wheelchair. How are they doing? How are you coping? I know the feeling well. When you took the boys from me, Ross, I thought I would die. And why do you think I did that, Blake? Do you want to... I have no interest in having this conversation again. Well, neither do I. I've been through a hell and back, and I don't want to fight, Ross. I really don't want to fight. And even though I have no expectations for the two of us, I would like to know where we go from here. What do you think? I'm going to file for divorce. I'm charging you with adultery, alienation of affection, any number oh, of Oh, don't ways. talk to me about legality. I'm the mother of your sons. Talk to me about that. What for? I want a commitment from you, Ross, about Kevin and Jason. And if I don't get one from you tonight, I'm leaving again. And this time, it will be for good. You are not in a legal position to threaten anybody. It's not a threat. I'm simply stating a fact. What fact? Kevin and Jason are my life, Ross. They're the only things I have left, and they're the only ones that matter. Well, I don't think they were the only ones that mattered when you were lying in bed with Ben. I don't think you were thinking about your beloved boys while you were starting an extramarital affair it with my brother, It wasn't an you? affair, Ross. What was it then? I swear to you. The only thing you can swear to is that you went to bed with Ben Warren. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I caused you pain, and I'm sorry I caused you humiliation, Ross. I'm sorry. There are no more words for any more apologies. I'm absolutely tapped out. And not that I expect you to believe this, but I am hurting too. Self-inflicted. And your hurting seems to go and come pretty easily, doesn't it? I bet you weren't hurting too much while you were making romantic plans to run away with Ben. I am not going to discuss Ben with you any further. Except to say that he was helping me out of town. And not that I'm proud of it, but my love for the twins made me go to Ben for help. For help? For help. Nothing more, Ross. As much as I love you, and as much as I want you back, I will not open my veins and bleed for you. And I don't want your blood. 
So what do you want, Ross? I can't stop living. I'm already paralyzed. You win. You beat me. And I give up on everything, except for our children and for their sakes. Please work with me on this. And this is the last thing I will ever ask of you again. Yo, DeMarco. I'm here. Oh. There you are. Oh, jeez. Let me guess. The stalker case? What else? Come on, give it a rest. Wait, your shift's up. Oh, you're still here, detective. What's your excuse? Oh, that's because I don't have a family to go home to, remember? They're in Greece. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Well, actually, yeah, it's pretty pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> but I am using it to catch up on some, uh, some paperwork, so, um... You know, I've actually found that I'm very productive when I don't have a life. What do you mean you don't have a life? I'm going home to an empty house. What are you talking about? I mean, I, all I have there is a freezer full of Eleni's gourmet frozen dinners for one, and you know, it's not my idea of a really big time, so uh, even if they are color-coded for every day of the week. Well, it sounds yummy. Well, it is, except for... Well, I mean, I don't have my lovely wife to look across at the table at, and my daughter tell me about school. Well, so what, it just doesn't taste as good? Is that it? Well, at least you're not going, going home to a cup of freeze-dried split pea soup. Sounds delicious. Um, is that why you're sitting here so late? Mm-hmm. Going over this. What? What is it? Ah, Reba's interview. Yeah, we had a pretty interesting chat. About what? Annie Dutton, amongst other things. Other things? Yep. Like? Reba and Josh are a pretty tight couple, aren't they? Yeah, they're a great couple. I mean, have you ever seen the way they look at each other? Uh, no, not really. I, it's amazing. I, it's like they're seeing each other for the first time, falling in love with each other all over again, right in front of everybody. Partner, I think you're starting to lose it. Oh, I'm just really envious. So? So? Do something about it. Like what? Get a life, maybe a boyfriend. Oh, really? Got any ideas, any suggestions, who? Come on, Terry. What? No, you're not going to play this loser routine with me. I don't see any guys busting my door down, Frankie, do you? I don't know why not. I mean, you're smart, you're funny. Funny looking, you mean, right? Yeah, well, you are a little funny looking, <laughs> but come on, quit fishing, will you? I mean, you're good looking and you know it. I mean, why do you think all the guys here are trying to smooth leave you to get you for a partner? Because I'm a good cop. Yeah, you are a good cop. But I really don't think that's the first thing they noticed. Really, huh? <laughs> Come on, take it easy. I'm just being honest with you. Look, I mean, when you came here the first day, I mean, you, uh, you turned a lot of heads. Really? Whose heads did I turn? I mean, what? The guys down in the locker room think I'm a 10? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say you got uh, a lot more going on than just a pretty face. It's nice to hear. Any guy would be lucky to date you. Any guy? Does that include you, Frankie? <laughs>